first time on time, but it's been a very trying season, but believe you me, God has been working, God has been shifting, and more so than anything, God has been dealing with my faith like never, ever before. Um, and I just decided to share something with you. If you're new to my channel, um, thank you for being here. If you follow me and you've been here and you've been looking for me, I greatly apologize, but I do thank you for coming back to just see what's going on with your girl. And I'm sitting here right now, I just had a thought in regards to often what looks like happiness and peace and what our journey should be don't be it at all it don't be it at all and sometimes everything that you have said you wanted your future to be everything that it has consisted of has been about somebody else or what somebody else want from you or what you'll be able to do for somebody else if you choose this and knowing that sometimes that's not what it is sometimes your best future is you choosing the thing that will bring you the most joy knowing that it will bless those that it's meant to bless and knowing that those that it's not meant to bless they will figure it out on their own and they will be okay but for me i am really sitting here right now in this hot tub at about 10 30 at night and i just had a revelation of but I feel like it's going to be my happy future going forward. It ain't all the things I thought. It's something totally different. And it may take so many people by surprise. Because even as I think on it, it's taking me by surprise greatly. But what I thought I wanted in 10 years, I don't want that in 10 years. I want something different. I don't know if that thing that I did want, if it will come back and I will want it in 20 years. If God see fit for me to still be here. But as for now... What I want 10 years from now is totally different. But thinking about that, I realized that's because it's about me. It ain't about what everybody else wants from me. It ain't about what everybody else thinks it should be. It's simply about what my feeder wants. You know, like, what do you see yourself? What do you, what, what will make you happy? And being okay with saying, this makes me happy and that don't. Or being okay with saying, I'm not available for you for this and that because I'm doing this and that for myself. Not in a selfish way. Let me talk to some of y'all people who get so self-consumed. And you're going to miss this whole point thinking to just do what you want to do and cast out everybody else and be don't care about. That ain't what I'm saying. I'm saying sometimes you have built your life on what you think you should be doing. But it's strictly a reflection of what you know other people need from you. And sometimes just want from you. They don't even need it. They just want it from you because it gives them a sense of security. And in the process of that, where's your sense of security? Or where's your sense of happiness? Or do you really walk into your purpose? Or are you really doing the things you enjoy the most in living your life to your best ability according to what God has called you to do so? And I think a lot of times we sit around and we see other people doing certain things and living their best life. And you'd be like, I wanted to do that and I should have did that. But you put so much on the back burner because you think the right answer is to always choose everybody else. And we know serving people is where your blessing comes from. And I'm all about serving. And going forward, what I want to do still includes serving. It still includes being pretty effective and pretty uh, influential influential into other people's lives. Um, but it's just in a different retrospect. And so I just hope that this encourages you to take some time to look at why do I want what I want? Why do I want what I want? That's the question you need to ask yourself. And that's what I'm asking myself. Why did I want what I want? And I realized I wanted it because it was something for everybody else. But I now realize I want what I want. You know? And um, for y'all who watched my video before and have watched my other stuff, and if you haven't, please go back and watch some of my videos. But, um... I've been a mom since I was 15, so I've been giving and sacrificing, and I wouldn't change it for the world. It's been my greatest blessings. I have four children, and two of them I have made videos that you have seen, and I feel like I've done what God asked me to do. I taught them about God and instill the importance of being good to people and being um, conscious about the choices you make and the consequences that come with it, and knowing that mama will always be there to love you and to help you and to always encourage you even in your mistakes. So I've done a pretty good job, I think. But now it's my time to kind of be like, 
my friend, what you want in 10 years? Hmm? And what do you want? Not what your children will want, not what your husband will want. Of course, he matters because he is my husband. Of course, they matter, but not in the same degree as what it used to be. I have to make sure I matter. And so I just want to encourage you to make sure you matter in your future plans. Make sure that you haven't been putting out everything that pertains to you because you feel like somebody isn't going to get something. Everybody can't get everything all the time. And that don't mean that you're neglecting them. That just means that they have to step up sometimes because you're falling back to do something for yourself. And taking care of yourself is the, is the mission. You have to in order to truly be a blessing for people going forward. So, I just thought I would drop that little nugget. Even though I've been missing and I have missed out. And it's, I will be doing more videos in the future to kind of just touch bases on what these last couple of months have been like. Um, it's been a lot. It's been a lot, but believe you me. So often we sit back and think that people are strong and don't have an issue with God and because they ain't been through nothing. But I've learned in this season of my life, some of your strongest people and some of those who glorify and praise God the hardest have been through some of the hardest season in their life. But they've seen God hand at work. They've seen God get them some strength to do some things they never thought that they would be able to do. And so I feel like that's me. Um, that is my season. I've... I've seen God strengthen me in a way I never thought was possible. And I've seen him give me faith for what seemed like the impossible. But with God, with God, all things are possible, right? So I just want to encourage you and remind you that no matter what season you're in, no matter how hard life looks, don't look around thinking because your life's so hard that ain't nobody else been there. And I was reading something today um, out of T.D. Jake's book, uh, Power of a Praying Woman. But it was a, he was speaking on how sometimes we go through so much, we put ourselves on a pedestal to think that we going through the worst of the worst and like we better than everybody else and we don't deserve what we're going through. But that is, that's so unfair. There's no entitlement. God is no respectable person. So in every season you find yourself in, know that God got a plan. And know his ultimate goal is to teach you more about him, to teach you how real he is, and to show you himself personally, and to grow you in the areas that you need to grow. And if you call yourself a Christian, you will always be growing. It's always going to be an area that you need growth. And for me, my area is faith. I trust God. I do. But, you know, I'm trying to get to, the, to that old lady faith, that unshakable faith, that when you say, Grandma, why you ain't stressing out? When, you, when we used to be like, Grandma, you don't seem bothered or... You know, and she said, honey, I just trust God. That's, that's the season I feel like God is taking me through. So going forward, I will be able to say, I just trust God. I just trust God. And so um, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Please share this video to encourage somebody else to do self-evaluation of what's important to you and why. And to know that God got you and all seasons are temporary, but more so than anything, it, it serves a purpose. Y'all be blessed. Continue, continue, continue to strive to be the best version of yourself, knowing that it's not selfish to take care of you. Y'all have a blessed evening, or if it's morning when you see this video, you have a blessed day as well. But I'm going to get back to enjoying this hot tub so I can go up here and shower and just sit in quietness for a minute, but talk to y'all soon.